Well, um, ask and ye shall receive. A couple people sent out emails that they wanted to learn more about islands on the air. So I went to the biggest expert I could find in my area, uh, Mike, and uh, here's our interview. Hello, everybody. I am joined here with Mike McGurr, uh, K9AJ. Now, Mike, uh, a lot of people, you may know him. He's a retired uh, emergency room doctor, but he uh, originally got into HF big time. Um, he is on the honor roll, only needing a CW uh, from North Korea, and he's operated from 30 DXCC entities, including his most recent one, uh, that big D expedition that they had to sell sandwich and South Georgia. Welcome aboard, Mike. Thank you. Uh, what most people don't know about Mike is he's got a little hidden secret. He's a big iota guy, right? E I didn't think it was a big secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's very into iota. And why don't you explain to people what iota is all about? Iota is a program that uh, I got interested in because I had all the DX uh, CC countries work that w were workable and needed something to keep me busy and be a challenge. And I went to the five band WAZ and then I still needed a challenge, so I started to count islets. And I actually went through all my cards and I had a couple of shoe boxes of cards and I wound up with 750 or so many iota counters. I said, wow, that's really neat. So I started chasing islands. So what is an iota for those that don't know? Uh, an iota is a island or a group of islands that's designated by the uh, RSGB iota program uh, as being a counter and they assign a continent dash a number for each island or island group and you collect them as, a, as you would DXCC countries. Now uh, I used to live on a lake and there was a little island in the middle of our lake. Would that count as an island on the air? If it's a freshwater lake, uh, something like the Great Lakes or something like that or even smaller, probably no. Um, uh, generally the islands we're talking about have salt water around them or so brack at least, at least brackish sort of salt water brackish means the, the fresh water is mixing with, with the salt, salt water, water. Yeah. so um but when in doubt where can they go to figure out if it's an iota we have the bible the bible this is the bible it's the iota directory it has everything you ever want to know about working islands activating islands and getting credit for islands where they are that has has a latitude longitude for virtually every iota uh, island uh, that's been established and you can get this I, I got this at the RSGB booth at Dayton last year but you can it's on the ARRL uh, bookstore you can go there and you can find this if you chase IOTA this is absolutely necessary now how many islands on the air are there there are under somewhat under 1200 um, not all those have been activated yet um, I think the highest scores that I've seen are like um, 1120 or 1130 or something in that neighborhood. That, that, that's the people who have worked the most that have been worked. Now I know there was a lot of people that really got into the national parks on the air and activating these national parks. So if they're looking for something to do, how hard would it be for them to go and activate an island? Uh, a lot of the islands are very easy to activate. A lot of the islands you can drive over bridges uh, to uh, along the East Coast and Florida. You can you don't even have to get your feet wet. And you just use your regular call. You just you use your call, and if you if you uh, think about uh, you want to generate some activity, you can put something out on one of the IOTA reflectors. Uh, there's a Yahoo reflector for IOTA, and you can put out there, "Hey, I'm going to go activate this IOTA," and you'll find out people may want to work you. And you just need special QSL cards then to with your IOTA number on it. They're going to want cards. The a card does not necessarily have the need to have the IOTA number on it. It needs the island name. Okay. The island name, and it can't be handwritten. So if you have your own card from home, you can't write the island name. It has to be printed on the card. But you can do that with a mailing label, with a label, the QSO label you print from your computer. Mm -hmm. If it has the IOTA island name on it, then you're good to go. Because I went to Save Us, so that was probably an IOTA PJ6. Yeah. And I just had the name of the island. I'm, I, let me grab my card here. As long as the island name is on it, you don't have to have the number. Oh, I, put, I did put the IOTA number on yeah. here. I operated from NA-145, so. There you go. Very good. Um, now, how oh, many have something. you operated from? Oh, 40 or 40 or so, 50. 50, something like that. Something about IOTA, if you activate an island, you get credit for it. Unlike DXCC, 
where if you go to activate a DXCC counter, you don't necessarily get automatic credit. Because you can't work yourself from the island. IOTA program gives you credit for, for being on the island. Just as you if activate. you work the island. Yes. Okay, yes. that's really nice. That's really nice because I know a lot of countries Jerry needs, he goes to. So it's hard for him to work that country right. because he's on that island. Right. So, yeah, that's kind of nice. Now, um, if anybody was interested in learning about IOTA, I know we have the IOTA Bible. Is there websites or places you can go to to get more information uh, on uh, working islands on the www.rsgbiota, all one, one word, no spaces, dot org, is a good reference source. You can go there, and that's where you go to enter your credits when you get your cards so you can get a score once a year. That's where you go to see what, what's on the air, what's coming up, what's active right now. Uh, it tells you if that island's ever been on the year before. It tells you how many people, what percentage of people who have claimed credits have that one confirmed. And it tells you the call signs of previous operations. And uh, I noticed, speaking of getting credit for it, I noticed this beautiful plaque here. And that is for what? What is that for? Well, it, the plaque itself was for working a thousand IOTA counters, or having a thousand IOTA counters confirmed. But then I have some endorsement plaques on it, so I act, this is actually my 1100 um, trophy. Out I, of almost 1200, so that's pretty good. Yes, You're so, almost done. So I have the endorsements for 1025, 1050, 1075, and then most recently 1100. Yeah. And, and do you guys have any kind of IOTA contests or anything there like that? There is a, a contest. Uh, uh, it's, it's, I believe it's the third, I could be wrong, I think it's the third weekend in July. And the nice thing about that is assuming the station that you work, the IOTA that you worked, sends its login to the RSGB, you can get automatic credit for that without having to get a card oh. for your for your honor roll and your listing. And I notice I, I use DX World a lot. I notice he posts a lot about IOTA on there as well. Is that a good place to look it, to? It's a good place. Uh, uh, if it's a really uh, um, breaking news, Carl usually has it on the front page. If you want to know what's going on in IOTA, uh, click the IOTA uh, uh, key on, on the website and you'll go there and he'll tell you the news of all the IOTA stuff that's on. And I see there's even an interactive map you can get on uh, qrzcq.com slash page slash IOTA map. And um, now for tracking IOTA, I mean, it's a lot more than DXCC. I mean, almost 1,200 of them. Uh, does typical logging software allow for tracking of IOTA? What most, you need and what most you have? all commonly used uh, 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 um, HAM software, logging software has it. Now, now, now the the uh, the contest one like like um, M and one MM, um, that's strictly a, a logging program. But all the other management programs, like DX Labs, we yeah, maybe Ham yeah, Radio, that all have IOTA. Okay, it, yes. perfect. Uh, any anything else? Any final words? Anything I'm missing here? Um, um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I when I was when I was a a young Ham, uh, a young DXer, we used to get one ringers. One ringer is, is when I know I heard about these. you hear a one ringer and the phone rings once and they hang up and you run down and you get on a two meter repeater and they tell you, hey, Mike, go so and so and so and so and so and so. Well, I missed that. Because there was no cluster. I missed, that was your cluster. Uh, it was our cluster. And I missed that. And, and now what happens, I get phone calls again from my IOTA buddies and say, hey, he's on so and so. And it's like, it's like the old times. So it really, it's, <laughs> it's like the old days. So you got, and in fact, they don't give a ring. They just call you up and say, hey, Mike, get on the air. Do they do they spot them on the cluster? They may spot them on the cluster and give the IOTA number. Oh yeah, they're spotted. They're spotted. So if, if you have that, then you, if you scroll down the comment uh, section, yeah, you'll then pick you'll it up. Find them, Especially yeah. if you're looking for it. Be nice if they just had a cluster for IOTA. So well, well, one day won't work. Well, thanks so much for joining us and kind of clearing things up on IOTA, and hopefully for all of you that have the hole in your heart now that Napota's over, you can go activate some islands on the air. My pleasure. Thanks.